30 minutes, zero increment. Let's develop the knight, supporting the pawn. Shall we get the bishop out or let's push through the center? Looking to get the pawn, so just uh, bring this bishop here, supporting. Let's capture. Just getting rid of the bishops, so he's not a fan of having the bishops. Can take, just keep it uh, simple. I genuinely don't feel there's any benefits to push in here because the head of the snake is going to get taken so we're going to take the pawn and we get a pawn okay so it looks like they've gone a bit crazy they might have lost the tempo on this one because hoping well positionally and plus materially we might be up so lots of space to actually attack but the queen is defending there at the minute Do we need to go on castle? I don't think so. I think it's a matter of this queen move. I think this queen move does something. So putting a check on the king. Might not be anything great it does, but um, maybe it improves our position a little bit. So we can attack the rook, but the knight can come and defend. Then we can bring the bishop here. Oh, he's going for the queen exchange. Now, is there anything different that we can do? The plus one, we can afford to trade down. We're trying to practice the art of not giving the queen up. We could come here with the queen. Is it to our benefit though? It's not doing much. Could end up getting trapped. Let's take it off the board. Okay, let's um, attack the knight. Probably still going castling because the rook will be defending the knight. Pawn's got no protect. Oh, he's attacking this pawn here. So if we hit the knight, then he attacks our bishop and he's got this pawn. Okay, let's attack the knight. So he's attacking our pawn. We could leave the bishop there. It's like doubling the pawns, but that plus pawn that we have got is a double pawn. We can bring the bishop here. It's attacking the pawn. Don't think there's much that can touch the bishop until. Let's go here with the bishop. Just get the bishop and sit it here quite nicely for a bit. Unless the knight wants to come and take it off the board. It's deep think time now. This is one of those where potentially draw offers will be made, but you gotta try and train against train through these. So we're potentially going to be grabbing this pawn. X-raying through to the rook. in the night but obviously the rook just comes to attack the bishop where do we go we can bring it here protecting the pawn or taking the knight let's just attack the knight it's got no protection swing round and it'll attack the bishop at which point we have to make a decision do we just take this off the board the rook is no longer attacking the pawn for a brief moment so we could bring the bishop back here Knight moves just to be attacking. Maybe it moves back again. We move here to defend the pawn. So you have the pawn pushing. 
No. Okay. So I think we're going to just bring the bishop back here and look to see if we can get a half star situation. He's looking to jam it down so we can. Shall we castle first? Because this pawn's got no protection and we should be trying to. Let's just castle. Although, sorry, it does have protection. And we could go here. If we take, I think the knight is going to be taken. continue let's continue with what we started because at least up for a brief well he's not interested let's just take we're on the pawn that's got no protection but this pawn's got no protection so we'll have to continue with the bishop maneuver so we think bishop could attack this pawn could take this pawn nothing's free at this moment let's just bring the bishop back so plus two now. And we could protect. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This pawn with this rook. Or we could attack this pawn with this rook. I think we we're going to protect this pawn with this rook. Eyes on the prize. It's attacking our bishop and not losing much sleep. I could um just bring it here. Or I could just hide it in the corner here. Which one feels better? I don't really want to block my rook's access here. facing off the king could just bring it here altogether but then it's going to come for this pawn isn't he let's just bring it into this corner here try and manage this square so our bishop is looking to angle to get this pawn we want to make sure the rook has got some 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 sort of play in a half open file if it can drop the pawn damn it let's just bring the rook across so the pawn can't take now because the rook has the x-ray through to the king it's giving us things to think about so the bishop can come here to attack the pawn there's nothing supporting the rook, so we just bring the bishop here and multiply the attack onto this pawn. These sort of end games are the end games that um, I need to practice just to because playing the over the board games. I mean, if I'm going into the next competition, um, um, obviously I'm going to go into the major section. There's no point in going into the minor section for me. Um, we've done that bit now and we're, we're comfortable with it. It's not about the ratings or anything like that, as you know, because I'll, I'll probably be the lowest rated player in the major sections for a few years. Um, and really I should be playing in the minor section if you're looking at the rating. For me, I've had the experience of playing in the minor section. Um, I have won a competition in the minor section over the board. I've got, I've had grading prizes um, playing in the minor section over the board. So really comfortable with the development. It is the slow, slow, slow development um, for myself in regards to chess in that sense. And I'm in no rush at all. I just love playing the game of chess. And I feel m more confident now in the development of our answer process and basically our own personal mantra 
which is helping us to feel that confident that we can now go and play in the majors the major section and with realistic targets obviously yeah it's not going in there to say we're winning anything we're going in there with basic simple ideas and motivations and goals and if we can keep trying to achieve those that gives me motivation to just them um, you know to actually enter these competitions i just love the environment like i said and i better make a move because they may just um blob on us so we can take with the pawn yeah i just love the environment i love the um the settings and the calm the peace and relaxation as well so it's like a um, mini type of retreat for myself now the king is a little bit airy is there anything that we can be doing at all with this white square bishop oh we're just getting it taken we're pushing I feel like i'm missing something with the use of this bishop maybe there's something we can be doing let's bring the bishop here targeting the knight it's almost like i'm so put a check on the king where's he go where's he go comes down a bit goes for the goes for the dark square bishop dark square bishop just bring that here for, with the support okay let's just attack the king because the knight's just blocked the rook bring the bishop here yes like we said rook in the center of the board has no place little safe haven there rooks are not quite ready are they it's coming for the bishop put a check on the king this way or definitely not that way put a check on the king king bishop's got space to attack the rook Rook has no place in the center of the board. Could be taken off the board, I think. We go here, attack it. Goes back. Bishop comes here, but the knight is there at the minute. So we're going to hit the rook. Knight can't move currently because of the x-ray that he's put itself on with the king. So as we said, goes here. Oh, that's going to hurt. Let's take. Now they look really mad. So we can take the knight off the board. We can afford to trade down. Is there a better position? We don't have any checks. The rooks are not yet in the game. Let's just take it off the board. And they're moving quick now. So let's bring this rook here. Potential for attacking here. Although, we've just given up the um, pawn. That was a bit too narration mode-ish, that was. Ah. Okay, that was a bit too narration mode. Let's bring the rook around, see if we can get his rook off the board. Yeah, I got into that narration rhythm of talking talking thinking that yeah that is right without doing any calculation so yes looking forward to the next one i think i've highlighted one but the um, venue has not been confirmed yet so we have something to aim towards again so which is good and it's not in a not in the immediate future, it's you know, a while away, but it's something to aim for. Like I say, I don't play that often over the board. And what we got? Putting a check on the king. Yep, yeah, put a check on the king. 
we're trying to get rid of the rook so if he does come back and attack then we can come here and um, we can go here but we'll lose our rook without and the bishop as well so we can take the pawn keep the king on the back and then we can attack their rook they're moving quick shall we push the pawn is there anything magical we could go and attack their knight they might forget themselves might they we go here if he goes no he can come here can't he shall we just get this rook mm, maybe here here yes yeah, so if we go here and then we go and attack the knight then he's moving here then we get like a checkmate thing that should work it's coming down for the pawn that might have been i think i'm leaving the pawn because there's nothing much that they can do about any of that could bring the rook here and then basically it's uh checkmate type situation Let's bring that up. Got space for the king if he's coming down for a check. Yeah, so I changed the idea of attacking the knight here because really there's nothing more to be done. This king's not close enough. Maybe the king should have come here, but it still wouldn't have been close enough. Would have been checkmate. Only thing that's going to happen is the rook is going to come here. And it gives the king a bit of, okay, he's not doing that. Um, I was going to say it gives the king a bit of side movements if the rooks did go down. But he's kind of wasted that with that move. Could still do it. But let's go here. It's like an intermesso, but he can't do it anymore because the rook will just get taken for free. Excellent. Okay, another one of those games where you think, yeah, you're flying through it, it feels fairly good, just to check anyway. Just uh, make sure, just capturing, capturing, capturing. Okay, yeah, position of the queen. Capturing, yeah, so it, it's not constantly good, but it's, it's up there. Repositioning, yeah, yeah. So it's this end game bit that I'm looking at really, it's more a case of this is the area I need to work on a bit more to get to build the confidence because if we're in these sort of situations in the major section and uh, we want to really be pushing past um, that draw mentality and pushing for those wins. Okay, so it doesn't look like anything major was missed. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's okay. 